Hey friends, today on the channel we are going to be looking at how to plot a set of data onto a map in R. In particular, in this video we are going to be using a map of the USA, but this is going to be an approach and a set of functions that are going to apply across both country, state and world maps. I hope you enjoy. Here is our code for mapping to the map of the United States. So the packages that we will need, we've got maps, we've got map proge and tidyverse. Most of you probably will have tidyverse installed already, uh, but to get the others, we just come down to packages, hit install, type in their names and then click install to install them. Once we've installed them, we can run them need to do a little bit of setup. So the data that we're using is some built-in data called US arrests. And if we have a look at that one, we can see it is a list of the different states and some rates of different crimes happening in those states. So we need that. And we need the geo data, which we get out of this function map underscore data. So if we take a look at what map underscore data does, it generates a set of coordinates suitable for plotting for ggplot. And we can see here we've got different countries, there's Italy, New Zealand, there's USA, there's world, there's a few others as well. And we can use that to generate some coordinates. So we'll run both of these. We now have that list of arrests. And then if we have a look at states, we can see that we have each American state. They are grouped and ordered, and they have a longitude and latitude. And this is going to be really important a little bit later on, because these specify where on the map we are going to need to shade in, because the map is going to get turned into a set of graphing coordinates. So if we come back to our code, and I will be sharing this code on my website. The link will be in the description. So you can go and copy and paste all this code to try it yourself. We need to adjust the case. So you may, may not have noticed in states, the states are lowercase. In arrests, they have an uppercase first letter. So we're just going to do a quick adjustment in order to get everything lowercase just so that we can match up we are then going to merge the two data sets by region and we're going to sort them into order so it's going to be important to sort them into order because when ggplot plots all of the coordinates if it hasn't been set up in order it won't properly fill in each state and we'll have a look at that in a second but we'll do this all properly first and then we can look at what goes wrong if we leave things out so we will Put in the sort and now our ggplot itself this is our data we're plotting longitude and latitude uh, then polygon is what's going to shade in all of our states and the assault uh, rates are going to be what we use to fill in and color code and then chord map is what is going to turn our map into something that's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing so we'll run this and we can see that we have generated a nice looking map here. We've got the longitudes and latitudes, uh, which if we wanted, we could take off if we didn't really want to see those. We've got the color code for the assault rates and we can see all of the states shaded in. So if we took chord map away, I'll show you what happens there. We'll zoom in to get a better picture. So here, maybe not be completely obvious, but the shape of this has just changed somewhat. So when we use chord map, it adjusts for the curvature of the earth and it makes a map that is a little bit more familiar. So you may want to experiment for yourself. Uh, I don't think it comes out quite as clearly in the video as it does uh, when we're working it live. But if we have a look, this map just looks a little bit off. If we compare it to the full size one, we can see that, that the relative height versus width uh, accounting for the curvature of the earth just makes it look like maps are a little bit more familiar to what we are used to seeing. 
So the other thing that I'll just very briefly show you is what happens if we don't sort things in order. And this is quite common if you're not working from some templated code like we are here. It can be something that you forget and you can wonder why the states didn't get shaded in properly. So let's come back. Let's reproduce this without sorting. And then when we run our map, we can see now that just in certain spots, it's not filled in properly. We can see some weird little squares and rectangles. We can see some empty bits. So by not sorting it uh, before we provide it to ggplot, we end up with something incorrect because ggplot is expecting that set of coordinates in order. So this line, as, as innocuous as it seems, is probably the most important line here outside of doing the graph. This is the one that makes sure that the graph looks correct. So we'll rerun that, reproduce our map, and we can see that it has now cleaned up. All those little holes and gaps have gone uh, because we've produced, we've given the coordinates in the correct order. That's the video for producing a map of the USA. Uh, this is all using the built-in data, just to make things nice and easy. Can get a little bit more complex when we're working with our own data, but I think this is a really good template to follow. I hope you have found this helpful. Uh, if you have, please like the video, please hit subscribe to keep up to date with my latest videos on R, statistics and all things data.